My name is Alex Haub. I own Twin City Tees in St. Paul, Minnesota. We've been in business since 2005. I have been printing since I was 14, so I've uh, been doing it for a while. It was a lot different than uh, it is now. We're fortunate to have things that make it much easier now. Uh, when we started, it was manual screen printing, so totally different. Um, and uh, as things progressed and I opened my own shop, I realized that there was alternates to manual printing. And uh, so we looked into different types of automation. First thing was a automatic screen printer. I looked at lots of machines. Before Facebook was really huge, I was very involved in forums and I would see all the different types of machines. I would look at every part about them because it was just super interesting. And I noticed that so many of them were just a copy of the same thing, which is fine if it works, but I had one of those machines that did not like how it worked. And I thought to myself, there's gotta be somebody doing it different somewhere. So I was like, I got to look outside of America. There's got to be a way to find something that has to be different somewhere. And I think I was just Googling things. I probably Googled them in Spanish to try to get a different, <laughs> different view. And uh, I remember coming across a YouTube video way back in the day, and it was a rock dryer. And the rock dryers were even, they were made different on the outside. Like they, they you know, they were a rectangle, if you will and the way that they didn't have an exhaust coming off the burner to the front and back was just, that was the, the motivation I needed to look further to say there is other ways that people do stuff. There's always options that you can do to it, whether you want to add to it, whether you want to not have some ads, you want to have a cool down spot. Maybe you're super coordinated and you run a very tight ship and you're able to run two jobs at the same time. You can have a loader on one end and an unloader halfway, a loader there, and you could run two jobs at the same time. If you're really smart, you could do three, who knows? I think the possibilities with it just allow for so much more. I mean, you use one of the carousel machines and they're still amazing, but I think the oval just opens you up to so much more in the future that maybe you haven't planned for. At this point, if somebody had an oval, it would be much easier to roll an oval or a, a hybrid device in on an oval. I think it just allows for more flexibility if your business grows to the point where you need something different. I do remember the first time you came here, it was, it was amazing to see you would go from one side where they would build the pallets and then you would come over and everything was just set up to go one to the other to the other. Like I had, I'd been to another factory before, but it wasn't set up the same way. It didn't flow the same way. It, uh, it was a lot more, I don't know, clumped together where things would go from one process to the next to the next. And I remember like watching where they were putting the machines together and everyone had the power specs. It was just, everything was thought out so well, which I guess should have made sense just because they thought out things like how they index and everything else. But for somebody like me who had never seen something that dramatic, it was really inspiring to be like every step of the process, they like continued the same attention to detail. The other thing that I thought was super cool that I never would have realized, and I think a lot of people don't, is basically the metal comes in as like raw metal and everything is cut here. Like everything, is like it is cut, it is made, it is done here. Like it's not ordered somewhere and then comes in and just put together. Like there's a whole laser factory that cuts everything and welds it and uh, rivets it, the, the whole thing. It's done on site. Coming back almost 10 years later, um, knowing that I am a very small customer in the grand scheme of the company, it has doubled in size. <laughs> and when I came the first time, they had uh, completed one of the, the final, um, the final at that point, <laughs> the 
uh, buildings and they said it couldn't get any bigger. And coming back, you know, right now it is twice the size that it was before. And just seeing that it's only grown, only been better, and all the processes have been made better. It, it's so inspiring to know that you're with somebody that like has that dedication and that growth potential. And I could be wrong, but I believe they're trying to find other space at this point. And like, it's only getting bigger and it's super inspiring to know that you can be part of something like that.